Hello and welcome to another texture pack review. Today we have Gaming Lords Art Pack uh, version 3 because <laughs> I, I can't see the rest of the numbers. <laughs> Sorry, is that, uh, again, this is pre recorded and I'm I'm kind of a bit far away from the screen. Anyways, uh, I really like the, the menu bar or the user interface, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, uh, the leaves don't have that render distance issue I normally have. Diamond Sword looks like it's burning. The bow is uh, finished and well animated actually. Critical hits are also finished. The map is not, but that's okay. Uh, let's check the bunking. Ooh, I like the inventory GUI actually. Reminds me of Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, fortunately, the, the, the pumpkin blower is not done. The armor is finished. All of the icons are. The only downside is that, uh, is that he used the same palette, you know, the design of the armor for all of the different kinds gold uh, chain iron and diamond uh, but uh, let's get a look at the back since it's pretty much the same which I don't mind uh, at least the armor is finished that's more than enough for me <laughs> so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna nitpick that uh, while we're at it let's look at the tools there hmm, I'm missing the put stone tools there keep forgetting that oh well Anyways, uh, those slimes are annoying me, so <laughs> let's begin. Um, here, what the hell? <laughs> Sweet, the slimes have square eyes. That's pretty neat, though. Uh, the experience orb are finished. There are stars with the words XP on them. Alright, there we go. <laughs> All slimes dead. Uh, the squids are not finished, though, but that's okay, because squids are very rare to begin with. Uh, the fire looks default to this kind of resolution, which is 32-bit, but the particles are finished, which is the smoke and stuff. The lava looks great. It's not animated yet to like move or glow, but that looks pretty good to me. Water uh, looks kind of like default water, but it's not. It's completely edited, and, and it looks even bluer, which which is really nice. Lily pad looks amazing. I always like it how they edit the lily path. <laughs> uh, here we are looking at the wool textures. Look pretty standard, pretty good. Uh, birch wood, uh, normal wood, red wood, which is also iron wood, wooden planks, salt sand, dirt, leaves, sponge, obsidian, grass, gravel, sand. Uh, oops, <laughs> sorry, I went too fast. Clay. Uh, yeah, that's clay. Snow. Ice, which is transparent, I always love that. And ooh, the textures look nice. Netherrack, stone, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, evil punking, more evil punking, <laughs> and sandstone. <laughs> the, the the one with the light was like <laughs> jack o' lantern. <laughs> the lightstone and all of the ores, and I must say these ores look amazing. The detail uh, just l really pops out. And if I ever see this in my game, I'm gonna freak out. Um, stone, holy crap! <laughs> Anyway, stone brick, mossy, and uh, cracked stone bricks, the cobweb, uh, bedrock, uh, let, me, let me look at that bedrock again, there we go, brick, gold, iron, and diamond blocks, the lapis lazuli block, and the end stone. Uh, while I'm checking the breaking animation, the, the creeper is the TNT, which looks pretty amazing, and uh, I gotta make a room to test the explosion, uh, which I'll do that later on. Uh, here we have the paintings, which... I don't know what's that. <laughs> That's a monster. The one is Green Reaper. That one looks like a cool spider boss. That one is like a tribute to the default one that's normally there. Here we have Binds, which have that issue. Uh, let me fix that so you guys can see how it looks without it. There you go. This is just me, so don't worry. Uh, uh, when you put it up, it's gonna work. My ceiling looks really great. I like it when they have like those little mushroom dots at the top, which here would be the purple one. Uh, and he even edited the particles that come out of it. The cactus looks great. Uh, the dead, the sand shrub, or I keep forgetting what <laughs> what that is. Dead shrub. Uh, it's a cactus, so that's very nice. Another work. I don't know if it grew or that's just how he made it, but it looks great. Uh, here we have the tall grass and the fern, which I don't see fern that often. Mushrooms with tiny mushrooms at the bottom. Uh, a lot of red flowers. Watermelon, brown mushroom, and uh, yellow flowers. These sugar canes look amazing because they kind of give you like this 3D feel, and it's it's pretty cool. The wheat and all the saplings. Uh, let me let's watch both the pictures and the 
and these half slabs. Cool. Hey, that that guy in the blue that kind of looks like uh, Aladdin. That's that's Gaming Lord. That's that's his avatar picture. So that's pretty cool that he actually put himself on his own texture pack. Not many people do that. So you can just know that he made this texture pack. All right, all I'm really li liking all of these textures. Let me set back to morning because it was bugging me. Uh, so far, I'm not finding anything to nitpick at this. It looks really good. Uh, wooden pressure plate. Oops, stone pressure plate. Uh, the levers. Oh, sorry. And the buttons. Oh, why do I always get hiccups? The zombies. Holy crap. <laughs> that side's falling down. That is a very amazing zombie. Well done, sir. The creepers. Whoa. The creepers look angry. <laughs> they have little tiny teeth on their mouth. <laughs> These are very racing looking creepers. Uh, let's check the spiders. Mm. Oh wait, they, they did spawn. Ah, they're not finished. Well, uh, at the at the beginning, which by the way, his uh, texture pack icon looks really great. Uh, he did say that it's almost finished, so I guess he's just missing these small mobs. I, I don't blame him though. The the quality of the mobs he's doing it, like the skeleton right here, is really good. So, you know, if he if he doesn't make them or if he if he plans to do them, it's okay. Uh, So take your time on making these uh, mobs. They, you know you're doing a great style here. Uh, silverfish aren't done. That's okay, cause <laughs> you only really see silverfish in, in mines. Endermen don't look finished. Blaze, uh, yeah, blaze are not finished. Ah, uh, the only one that does bug me is the Enderman. cause both blaze and magma cubes are usually never finished on these texture packs. But uh, the enemy, oh, holy crap. <laughs> well, there you go, another great example of why most of the mobs are not finished. I wonder how long people take doing these kind of mob textures. Because it looks really great. Uh, let's get closer here to look at their... Whoa! <laughs> okay, let me, let me do that one more time. Whoa. Okay, they just opened their, their teeth and show them to you. <laughs> Let's skip that. Here we have wooden doors. Look great. Iron doors. A uh, dispenser. I have a cute little mouth. <laughs> At least it looks cute to me. Uh, GUIs are finished. Note block. Which reminds me of other note blocks. Uh, whetstone wire actually looks like dust. Uh, torches look great. He even changed the flame animation. Here's active whetstone dust. Uh, wet torches. The repeaters look finished. <laughs> the repeaters are finished. <laughs> uh, here we go with the piston. The pistons look great. Uh, here we have all of the mine carts. They look shiny. Detector rail, powered power rail, power rail, normal and uh, normal rail. Sorry, but <laughs> here we have the bookshelves with the look great. Except for that little pink thing. I can't tell what it is. It looks like a like a pig plushie. <laughs> Uh, uh, that little pink just kind of bulges out a little bit too much. Oh, hey, the chest has a tiny chest icon at the top. Here we have uh, most of the items, which are finished, all of them. That's pretty nice. Let me fix something here, because I keep forgetting to put the chain boots in there. Uh, sorry about this. <laughs> uh, I always try to make the texture pack reviews fast, but I always forget stuff. Uh, here we have more items. The golden apple looks nice. Everything else is really bright and, and shiny and good. This is one of the, the, the texture packs I'm really loving. Uh, here we have the signs, which I never really get a close-up. <laughs> looks great. The dispenser has a creeper face. <laughs> that actually looks like a frowning face more than a creeper. That looks great. The workbench looks pretty great. Mm, let's check the GUI. Ah, perfect. That those extra little details are really nice. Uh, I really love it when a uh, when a texture pack creator does that. Here we have the nether brick and the cauldron. The brewing stand is finished and it looks great. The the bottles fit with the ones in the brewing stand, so consistency is is very nice. Nether brick fence and the normal fences. 
even the fence gate look nice here we have um, I think it's a leviathan or just a dragon <laughs> uh, glass and iron bars looking great uh, monster spawners has that <laughs> has a creepy little face sweet dragon egg is finished looks more bright which is actually kind of good uh, <laughs> strawberry cake the the trap door the wolves are not finished but the bed is <laughs> uh, let's get let's jump down because actually yeah, this review is gonna take longer than 10 minutes <laughs> it's actually already beyond 10 minutes <laughs> oh well. great texture packs to serve a little bit more extra time because <laughs> everything tiles up so nicely I'm really loving this texture pack uh, red mushrooms look great o oops battery running out hold on Okay, sorry about that. Had to charge my <laughs> my laptop. Uh, here's my uh, here's the brown mushrooms. I just skipped them. Uh, most of the animal mobs don't look finished. I think the sheep is, but I can't tell because their fur looks too white. Or maybe that's because of the texture pack. <laughs> the damn the cobblestone tiles up perfectly. See, uh, uh, that's the thing I like about this texture pack. It tiles up. Most texture packs, when they try to tile up, uh, you you know you can still see like the square pattern, but this one no, it it completely blends in. Uh, the windows look nice, a little bit too squarish, but they look nice. Uh, the leaves and trees stand out very nicely. Here we have the Nether lightstone looks like your default. Well, you know in the sense when you look at it, obviously not the textures. Hey, actually now that I look at the lava in the Nether world, it looks better. Maybe if I look, uh, if I watch lava while in an underground cavern, it would look good too. <laughs> uh, the obsidian doesn't have a custom portal, but that's okay. Uh, obsidian itself looks nice. Uh, the enderman ice and the ender portal frame looks very sweet. Now I'm really loving this texture pack. If you agree with me and you are interested in this texture pack, please check on the description below. All of the textures are very well done. They look crisp. They, the the details are more than enough, f you know, for them not to be too sharp, and it's just a 32 bit, so it shouldn't cause you too much lag. Here we have the end. Everything looks great. I have nothing to, you know, to provide to this texture pack because it's just simply amazing. I, I may use this in uh, in future Minecraft videos, you know, that are not related to reviews. <laughs> Anyways, uh, check again the description for if you're interested in the download. Take care and happy gaming. Lates.